I started playing cricket when I was eight years old. I joined the Singapore Cricket Association's academy, and one of one of the players in this team actually was my coach, Chetan Sirivanchi. So he was my he was my first coach, and ever since then I've been playing cricket, whether it's the academy or under 16s, and I've come up through the ranks, played under 19, and now the men's team. National service and cricket can be quite taxing because I end work every day at 5.30 and as soon as I go home I have to get ready for cricket. But it's something that you have to do if you love the sport so much. And since I've been playing for so long now, I've come, I'm like kind of used to this. There's this timetable and schedule of mine that uh, it's not too bad. But every day I get home after cricket at 12 o'clock and I repeat that on a daily basis. So yeah, it gets a bit tiring, but the good thing is I'm almost, I'm almost done with national service. Um, in terms of uh, physical in our cricket, we always start our sessions with fitness. It's uh, Coach Fahad taking fitness, which is honestly really tiring. It's, it's whether it's 50 sprints or 100 spins, we have to do it, do it. And after that, it comes down to our fielding sessions with Coach Rehan, and he hits the ball really hard, like to the point where your hands are almost going to break. And it's only after that we get we get down to the skills, whether it's batting drills or bowling, play match scenarios. And I think coming up to this tournament, I think we've prepared really well. And yeah, I'd like to see the boys do well. I think there hasn't been much of a change as for the trans transition from under-19 to the men's side because a lot of the under-19 players that I played with during under-19 are now in the men's squad. For example, we have uh, Janak Prakash, Aryaman and Ahan. So there hasn't been much of a change, but I think the, the biggest change that I would say is probably the level of competition. And obviously playing with the big boys, Big boys now, you're going to have uh, bowlers are going to bowl 140, 145 on a regular basis as opposed to 115, 120 back in under 19. And with the men's, men's side, uh, we get to travel a lot more places. It's, it's not limited to just Malaysia or tournaments held in Singapore. We can go to the WCL that's going to be held in KL this year. If we, if we were to qualify, then we'd probably go to Canada. And last year, I even went to Oman and Kenya. So. That's probably one of the biggest changes and yeah, that's, I would say that's the best part about transitioning from under 19 to the men's side.